Good morning, crafters. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to thank you all for joining me, and I'm going to show you what I'm playing with today. It's a new-to-me technique. It's been out there for a while. But we're going to make some spin art with a salad spinner. It's all well-seasoned. So, I'll show you what I made. This was just some drop-off. I'll use this in a journal. So first I tried it with um, some, um, yeah, art paper. And this is kind of thick. This is the only size that fits in my basket. If you get a bigger salad spinner, you can use bigger paper. So, um, this is just... These are my first attempts. So I'm going to just cut them up and use them for backgrounds. Um, this one I was trying to start to make a frame out of it, and I thought I could maybe put a background under it, and maybe one of my little dolls make like a little frame. So I have to play around with that yet. These were done with um, cardstock, just plain old, everyday Walmart cardstock. And these have some glitter on them. If you could catch it in the light. So you're just going to use some acrylic paints. But these, you know, you can cut them up and use them in, on cards and things. And then I also had some coffee filters. So this is just a piece of one. And so, again, this makes some nice back, background paper. This one has some glitter on it. This one, too. I don't have a whole lot of um, acrylic paints, but you could use... Um, Green inkers and alcohol inks and things of that sort. And then these were the cloths that I put inside the spinner. And um, they also have some paint transferred onto them. And I, these I'll cut up and use in my journals as well because there's paper in the background. And this one I'll just use um, today because I don't have a clean... I don't have a clean paper towel here. So, to get started, you're going to take your spinner, and I just put this down. I don't know if it holds it, holds the paper in or what, but I like to put it down for some more color. And then this is just cardstock that I cut in quarters. And then you're just going to layer your paint. So these are just acrylic paints. Mostly from Walmart. Here's a metallic. So I'm just picking a few colors. So I'm going to try putting some white down because that was helping me make a marble effect. I need to get this. It has So, you will get a little messy with your hands. So, we're just going to put a little bit of white down there. And this is a um, maker. Yeah, you don't know what it's going to create. Just some gold acrylic. Now, you could take a straw and blow it around. It's 
I'm just pushing it out to the edges a little bit. You don't have to do that. I just want to see what it looks like. We put our spinner on, and then we. Can you look? And that mostly went off to the side. So um, you could add more, something more. Um, yeah, you're going to have to let these dry. They take, I let them dry maybe even overnight sometimes. So, there you have, you know, you'll get, you'll get different looks, so we're going to let that dry. Take one of our coffee filters. Let's try um, putting some on the outside. Now you could add, go back and add some paint splatters to these, or take a marker and decorate on them. There's lots you can do. Let's see. There's a purple. Let's just try to do the swirly thing. Gold and purple. And just a little bit of white. I'm just going to mix the white. See what that does. Okay, let's put our top on. Let's go for a spin. Ooh, that was pretty. I like that one. So just playing with the with the technique. That one is very pretty. So this way it went more out. So if you put your ink more on the outer sides. So yes, we have one more coffee filter. Let's try that again. Hmm. Yeah, it's the dry the dry time that you have to work with. Let's do gold and silver. Hmm, that was a little rummy. I didn't shape that up very well. That looks good. Now if you just do a little bit, it just starts it. But if you go for a really spreads it around.
So there you have it. And I'll do one more and then I'll let them dry. And I'm going to have to come back after I see what I can do with them. Silver up a little bit. It's not so wet. Oh, it's still wet. No, watered down too much. So if you had a theme for something, you can use like similar colors. Gets it going. Pretty. So that has to dry. It has to dry. This has to dry. And that has to dry. So I hope you can see them well enough to get an idea. And yeah, so I'll come back and see if um, I can create something with these masterpieces. So thanks for stopping by, and why don't you all go out and have a spin? Bye!